this is the sql server security module regarding the authentication and authorization and uh, we are discussing about the authorization in sql server um, we know that the authorization is uh, carried out by using some components and the, these components are principles curables and permissions so in the last video we have discussed about the securables and the, in this video we will discuss about the permissions what are the permissions how to use these permissions to implement the authorization in sql server so permissions every sql server curable has associated permissions that we can grant uh, to a principles and we can categorize the principles into the three levels one is the server level one is the database level and the third one is at the schema level server level permissions are assigned to the server principles and the server principles are the logins and the server level roles so well on the database level we assign the permissions to the database users and uh, the database roles we give the permissions to the database roles and the database users these are known as the database principles and on the schema levels the permissions are assigned to the schemas which is a container schema is act as a container which have some objects like tables and views so there are three cut, uh, levels of the permissions and there are three main permissions in this sql server one is the grant permission which is used to grant any right to a uh, specific user regarding a specific securable and the deny permission is used to deny the right on a securable to specific login and users if we want to take out some permission we have we can use the revoke uh, uh, permissions command and uh, there is a some uh, there is a, some special permissions which is known as the control permissions this is a covering permissions it is a collection of uh, some permissions uh, like the control permission it include insert update delete execute uh, etc when we are giving this control permission to any users then that user will automatically have the rights to insert update delete execute on that securable so uh, these are the permissions and one more thing that the when we are assigning a permissions on some higher level then the on the sub levels these permissions will automatically be assigned like uh, this is a database user database if we are giving the rights to the database user that he can he can select on this database then inside the database he the all on all the objects on all the schemas he will automatically have the uh, these permissions to select all the schemas like he can go into any schema in this database he can select any table he can select any view inside the schemas so at the, the permission given at the higher level will automatically be assigned on the sub levels now we will go to the sql server management studio and we will see there how to implement the permissions this is the sql server management studio and uh, i'm logging logged in in this sql server 2017 server with a user uh, which is the administrative user and it has all the rights it can do anything in this uh, instance so um, and th this is our test db and uh, in the on the instance level we have created one uh, login in the last video this is the windows authenticated login and this is the login with some basic rights uh, it can select and it have it can it can have create the database uh, only this is belongs to the db creator role so this uh, this login and this is our test db in our test db we have created one user this is the test db user and we mapped this user with this login if we will go inside this user we can see that we have mapped this user test db user with the login so now this uh, instance level login can connect with this database and uh, we are going to create one schema in this database and uh, we will see the permissions we will assign the permission uh, some uh, select permissions to this uh, user on this schemas and then we will see the effects so let's this is the um, our test db and um, i am going to create these uh, all objects by using our uh, administrative login and i will create first this schema schema name is sales 
it's successfully created and uh, then I will create a table with the name of salesman I will create this table in the sales schema the if you want to create uh, the objects which is belong to some sp uh, specific schema then we have to use that schema name before the that object name so I'm going to create the tables uh, it's syntax is sales that salesman this is the fully qualified name and I created this table in this database in this schema and uh, these are th values which I'm going to insert in this salesman table two salesmen have been inserted after that I'm going to create a customer table belongs to this sales schema and this table is created in this schema and now I'm going to insert some values in this table these three values for the customers are inserted after that I'm going to insert a transaction table name is invoices in the same schema here I will enter the transactions for the sales these are the transactions test transaction I'm going to insert some records and this is the one view I'm going to create in this same schema this view will uh, join all the tables which I created above it will bring the values from these tables so this is the view which I'm going to create in this same schema now I have the three tables and one view in the sales schema and um, I will use this login name which is a uh, have the very basic uh, rights which can create only database which don't have the uh, uh, select rights on this uh, schema if I'm going uh, this I'm logged this is the uh, user uh, this is a login and this login belongs to the test DB user and test DB user right now has no permissions for this schemas so we I can verify like these these are the tables which I have created this is by using this administrative login and now this is my uh, this uh, login which don't have the uh, rights for this tables so let's see this uh, I'm going to select uh, what he can select now this this login which belongs to the test DB user has no right for to select uh, the objects of this schema so I will go to this uh, user this is my administrative login I will go to the test DB database and uh, I will select this test DB user and here I will select this curable schema and I will assign the select permission to this test DB user on this case, uh, sales schema so this I will select from here the schemas this is the schema from this schema I will select my schema this is the sales schema which I created and now this I'm going to give this user on the this curable the permission for the select this is a select I will grant this permission uh, on this curable to this user so this is done now I will go again here before we have checked that this login which is belong to the test DB user ha don't have the select right now let's see so now he this user which belongs to this login can select the uh, this schema so uh, we have given the permission on the schema level whatever inside this schema this user can select now uh, anything from this schema you can select all the tables belong to this schema and all the views belongs to this schema suppose I want I don't want to give the select uh, permission on a specific object like the salesman object I don't want that the uh, this uh, user can select from this table so then I have to go again here and I have to select uh, in this uh, I will securable I will select uh, this uh, database uh, this uh, table object this is the, these are the tables under this schema and from this table I will select this salesman table and now this salesman table is 
uh, I don't want the to this user to select from this table. So I will deny the select for this particular table. So now, now, now the select is denied on the uh, salesman table uh, inside this uh, sales schema to this test DB user. So this is the denied permission. So let's see. Um, first, we I'm going to select this customer table. Yeah, this this uh, login still can select and check the salesman. No, salesman uh, permission is denied, and this, uh, all others permissions are still as it is. So this is the way we can assign the permission. We can deny the permissions. And uh, we have seen that the permission assigned at a higher level will automatically assign at the uh, level, sub-levels uh, to the, that particular user. 